a young student at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, was asked to calculate trajectories for a flight to Jupiter. I was a summer student uh, working on my degree at the time. So when I was given the job of looking at the outer planets, I thought that was kind of a make-work project. I was being kind of kept out of the way while the really important business of getting to Mars was underway. Flandreau discovered something that made the dream of a flight to the Giants a real possibility. Obviously, the first thing is to determine when the planets are going to be in positions where we could reach them. So I drew very careful maps of where the planets would be. And one of the most important drawings was one in which I drew the positions of the planets versus the date. And the thing that caught my attention immediately was that the lines for Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune all crossed in about the 1975 76 time period. In other words, those four major planets were on the same side of the sun and in the same general position at the same time. So it gave me the idea immediately that we could do all of those planets with one flight. Flandreau's discovery was more than just a convenient planetary lineup. Rocket power alone could propel a spacecraft no further than Jupiter. But scientists knew that if a probe approached a planet at the right angle, it would be caught by the planet's momentum, then pitched in a new direction at a greater speed. The trick you use here is you fire your rocket with enough propulsion to get to Jupiter, which is, after all, a long ways away. It's five times the distance of the sun. Go by Jupiter in just the right way that you get a gravitational slingshot effect. That propels you to Saturn. Same trick if Saturn's in the right place at the right time, which can propel you to Uranus if Uranus is in the right place at the right time, and on to Neptune. Same deal. That happens about every 175 years. And it happened in terms of launch date in 1977. And in fact, uh, former administrator of NASA, Tom Paine, used to make the joke that the last time this happened, Thomas Jefferson was president, and he blew it. 